Welcome to our home. Come on in this way. This is the entryway into the home. Branches off both directions. And uh, one of the things that we really like about uh, this home is that as you sit here, you can look out and uh, from this angle you can see our lake and the uh, island. So we love that view. You're here on our property in Park City, Utah, uh, where we have our main residence. I was probably six or seven, and uh, I felt a pull on the um, pull, and I picked it up, and there was a fish on the end. And I got so excited, and then I called my dad, and by the time he looked over and saw that I had a fish, he told me to hook it, and I didn't know what he meant to hook it, and the fish opened its mouth and dropped off. And so I lost interest in fishing. I didn't do much after that. But these kids have all grown up with fishing, and so they're much better at it than I am and enjoy it more. As you get older and your children leave the nest, you start downsizing, and then we downsize so much, we decided that uh, now we don't have any place to gather as a family. We have um, five children living with their spouses and uh, 22 grandchildren, two great-grandchildren, and we needed a gathering place. And so we, that's what really drove us to be looking, and we found this, and the price was right, and um, here we are. I can tell you it's been a long journey here, but if you're really looking forward to living life unlimited, it's going to have its ups and downs as you go through life. I was born in Niagara Falls, New York, in a small apartment with my parents, only child. We moved many different places. Finally ended up in uh, Bakersfield, California. When I was a young teenager, uh, I became more fully aware of my mother and some of the health issues that she had. And one of them was that she developed lumps in her breast consistently and had problems with that for a long time. She had a friend in Salt Lake that said there's an herb called chaparral and if you'll gather some of it on the side of the road down in southern Utah and brew it into a tea and drink that, you'll never have lumps again in your breast. They'll go away. And we stopped on that trip home by the side of the road, went out and gathered chaparral. First day we got home, my mother took some of those uh, leaves and brewed it into a tea. And over the next few uh, months of drinking a cup of that every day, uh, her lumps went away and she never had problems with it again. And I kind of put that information in the back of my mind and so when it became years later a time to experiment with herbs and put them in capsules for the first time on a commercial basis and gave me the faith and conviction that these things work. I can tell you that life itself presents challenges. In my case, when I got out of the military, I had nothing. We started Nature Sunshine products on $1,000, nothing. And uh, I knew that I had to go out and sell product to even get a paycheck. Some of these challenges in life drive us. And if we're going to go from nothing, which is almost everybody in life, to becoming successful and having this life unlimited, we have to have the drive, I've got to say, first things that are most important I think in anybody's life is their relationship with their God and with their family. Those have to be the most important thing in a person's life. We're a very close family. Family is important for everybody. This is my wife Linda. She's the matriarch of the family. Ken and I met at a junior college in California and it was my freshman year and his sophomore year. It was love at first sight for me, I don't know about her. And asked me out and I couldn't go, I had another date, but I said please ask me out again and he did and we got married seven months later. Best decision I ever made. Good you need to be, you need to be tied together with a great companion and you can do anything in the world. Life Unlimited to me means a well-rounded life. It means that everything that we're involved in, everything that we're doing from financial security to health and nutrition um, to personal progress. One of the great things about ZJ is that as you start to grow and participate, it puts you on the stand in front of people. 
and you have to stretch. If you've never done that before, that takes a lot of growth and you become better. And this life unlimited just gets better and better and better. Never become mediocre. Mediocrity will never give you the satisfaction in life that you've done your best in serving other people and helping other people and helping your family. You will have life unlimited if you keep pushing yourself and never settle for anything less than life unlimited. <music>